someone that has God has placed beside you through the ups and the downs. And again, we don't always know the road ahead, but we know that with Christ at the center of this, there is nothing that can come your way that can come. As you face life's journey together and walk across the road of this landscape, do not sigh over what might have been, but make the very best of what God has put before you. The vows that I know you're ready to get to and worried about whether you'll actually repeat them after me and all of that, but they, they do speak to what is seen and unseen. And they are also a reminder to all of us here that have made those vows of how important they are. The wedding license that we will sign at the end of this service, this ceremony is indeed something important. But again, I come back to God's blueprint for both of you, for these two families that are joining. He breathed life into each of you, and today he breathes life into you as one. My final advice, follow God's design bear one another's burdens, endure through self-discipline and self-conquest because then it becomes real and capable of sending life out into the world. Everyone wants a perfect marriage. What is it? A perfect marriage is when that moment in time when it reaches completeness, when you find the purest and truest self, it has been said, in each of you. And then you allow those current dormant possibilities to come forth and bring the best out. That in the world to come, you may have everlasting life. Amen. Ty, you may kiss your bride.